As an employer, your employee's safety on the job is your number one priority. But workplace safety isn't always common sense, and your employees might not know how to safely perform their jobs. For that, you need a workplace safety program to give them confidence while they work. There are four foundations of a successful safety program, including leadership that believes in safety, understanding the cost of neglecting safety, preventing employee injuries, and being prepared for when injuries do happen. Do your leaders and managers believe in safety? When leaders believe in safety, it means safety truly comes first, and it shows in your company's policies, words, and actions. To make your safety program work, you'll need time and resources dedicated to your program. But don't worry, safety doesn't require a huge budget. You will need, however, to commit to providing effective personal protective equipment and safe working machinery for your employees. To keep your workplace safety train rolling, you'll also need a safety team or committee. After all, the best way to identify hazards and improve safety is to get input from the people doing the job. Do you understand the cost of neglecting workplace safety? Putting safety on the back burner can result in the ultimate cost. One of your employees could be seriously injured or killed. It's also important to understand the financial cost of your work comp policy and how improving safety can save you money. It's not rocket science. Companies with more workplace injuries pay more for work comp insurance. Preventing injuries can help keep your rates low. Your insurance carrier might even have special programs to help you increase your return on safety. Many companies also find that working safer means working smarter. Making process improvements or investing in safer equipment could lead to productivity and efficiency gains you didn't know were possible. Do you know how to prevent workplace injuries? Preventing workplace injuries sounds simple, right? While preventing injuries is the purpose of your safety program, it takes some elbow grease to get there. This is when that buy-in you work so hard for comes into play. A safety-first company holds regular safety meetings, performs regular safety inspections, and have safety policies and rules that are documented and signed by every employee. When those rules are broken, there are consequences and learning opportunities. But remember, it's not as much about compliance as it is about developing a culture of safety. Are you prepared to manage workplace injuries? If an employee is injured, it's not the end of the road for your safety program. You should have an injury management plan to make sure that they get the care they need while controlling medical costs. Your goal is to prevent injuries, but if one does happen, it's important to perform an incident investigation right away. Understanding how and why the injury occurred will help you make sure it doesn't happen again. For any business, an effective safety program begins with talking to your employees about safety. Get a committee together and evaluate your safety efforts. How do you stack up in these four foundations? If you're ready to take your safety program to the next level, visit mem-ins.com for free resources to get started.